Welcome back to another cleaning video. So in last week's video, I did some hoovering, some washing up and some laundry. This week's video, I am gonna be scenting my house with Zaflora, wiping all the surfaces down. And this just kind of creates like a really nice air freshened smell in the house. I'm also going to be carpet foaming my floors and mopping the floors as well. And also I am going to be addressing a few comments that I got on my last video and talking about them. But first of all, so this is an old carpet cleaner that I got from my dad. I don't entirely know where he got it from, but it definitely does need a good clean. Like, don't get me wrong, I know that. And I'm not entirely sure how to like thoroughly clean it or anything, but I probably will get a new one anyway, because I don't think this is actually the best. I think it's quite old and it's like not, you know, actually as effective as it should be. I do actually carpet foam my carpets every single week. I don't do the upstairs carpets because I am actually going to be changing those carpets at some point. So I do think it's a little bit pointless for me to be kind of taking a lot of care with them when they're just going to end up in the bin. But the living room carpet, I do do that every single week. Having pets in the house I just think it's kind of necessary for me to keep my carpets as clean as possible because they do often have like little accidents. They're just fighting right now as I do this voiceover which is not handy so if you hear any kind of growling or anything it's just my dogs trying to fight so I do apologise. <laughs> So I'm now moving on to mopping the floors. I mop my kitchen floor and my bathroom floor every single week. And I do that mainly because it does obviously get dirty. As you'll see um, a little bit later on, there is actually a lot of dirt that is in this mop bucket at the end of it. But it also scents the room and I do add a little bit of Zaflora into the mop bucket just because, again, like I said, it helps to scent the room with the same smell that I used earlier. And I think that makes a big difference. So I said I was going to address some of the comments in my last video. So some people actually commented asking me or saying or being shocked that I didn't rinse off my dishes after washing them when I was doing the washing up. And I thought that was funny because I do actually usually rinse the dishes after I've washed them up before I put them to dry. But sometimes I'm lazy and sometimes I just can't be bothered, especially when I'm filming. It does take a lot longer to clean. So I, you know, I actually couldn't be bothered. But... 
I'm the kind of person that always rinses my cups, plates, pans, everything before I use them anyway. I don't know why, I just have this weird thing where I just think there's like dust on it and stuff and I just want to rinse it anyway. So don't worry, it doesn't have a, t a soapy taste for me because I always rinse them anyway. Um, but I did get quite a few comments about that and I think a lot of these comments were from people in the US and they were saying that like people in the UK wash up differently, so I don't know. Um, but but I will get, a, hopefully in the future, a dishwasher anyway. Um, but another one of the comments was somebody saying that uh, they thought it was funny that my boyfriend was gaming and I was cleaning. He does actually do some cleaning as well, don't worry. But obviously, if I'm going to be filming this video, I'm going to be the one cleaning because this is my channel and I'm filming. So if he was cleaning at the same time, it would be just getting in the way. So don't worry, he he does clean as well. Um, but I just thought that was a funny comment that somebody had left. <laughs> Like I said in my last video, I want to keep every single week where I film these videos different and to do different things and next week it is going to be different to what you've seen in this week's video and the previous week's video and I also think that will encourage me to start cleaning different things like my oven, my microwave, um, just things that I don't normally clean. Talking about my microwave, I actually need a new one because it's really weird, like it's been like this for a year at least now, but it's all bubbled up on the inside and it's really weird. It's like it's melted itself. Like, has anybody else experienced that? I don't know, but I just haven't got round to buying a new one, but I really do need to because it is not normal for your microwave to start melting on the inside. It's quite concerning really. But anyway, I am just gonna be wiping down all the surfaces with the Sephora that I um, had in the rooms earlier. So not only is it an air freshener and like a scent booster around the house, it's also great for actually anti-backing around the house. I use it to clean the sink in my bathroom. I usually kind of wipe down my shower and stuff, but for this video, I just couldn't be bothered, so I do apologize. But I also always wipe my sink downstairs. All of these things do get thoroughly cleaned at a separate date, but this is just something that I do every single week and it just kind of keeps on top of it and it just makes sure that, you know, it's not getting really dirty. But yeah, I do do a thorough clean every so often but anyway this is the end of this week's video so please subscribe if you want to st stick around I will be posting one every single week and I'll see you in my next video goodbye <laughs>